What's up guys? Welcome to Jimmy Online. This is Rodrigo Benavides and you're watching another episode of JavaScript. Hello guys, what's up? Today we're going to discuss five ways to avoid having the uncut type error in JavaScript. Let's check it out. Point number one, we're going to use logical operators. Point number two, maybe monad. This is something that I found thanks to the article of Oliver Steeler. Point number three, the statement of try catch. Point number four, by using the structuring objects or default objects as a model. And point number five, by a future feature. A future feature. A feature for the future. A proposal feature, which is actually the optional chaining. The optional chaining. Let's find out. All right, guys. Now we have the first possible solution. We're going to use a logical operator. We're going to use actually and operator. Here we have our object. Here we have our function and then we are calling it. Let's see. The problem here is all these nested properties. Okay, so let me run it just to check that we are actually getting the error. Yeah, we have it. Cannot read property on of undefined because obviously this is not defined and as a consequence, this is throwing this error. So now let us check how we can fix it. And it is like this. So we use the AND operator and then we check the next property and then the next and then finally our, oh here I'm, I'm missing one and there we have let us run it now and this is okay because by using this AND operator we are making sure that uh, the left hand expression is first evaluated and only if it is true then we pass to the next one okay let me just quickly um, you know what I'm gonna have I'm going to create a second object right here. Now let me use it. We should be getting the 27. There we have it. So this is the first solution that we found. Cheers, guys. All right, guys. Now we have right here the second solution that we're proposing here. This is going to be a combination of the OR operator plus a default value, a default object. So here we have this failing again with the same and brilliant error that we already have. Let me remove all of this and so the solution goes like this. Uh, I'm going to create a const here with h and it's going to be like this. Percent or empty object grabbed as, a, as an expression and from here we're going to get the data or Oh, where is that? Or, yeah, or an empty object and all and all and all again. So now we get the on property uh, and then again another default possible uh, return value and now we will have our H property. Let me just print this one right here and let us see what happens. 
and then we have it. So, as you may notice here, this is like not very readable, it's not very easy to read, but we are not repeating person dot data and person and person and person again as in the previous solution. So I don't know, I don't know, it's up to you guys, whatever you find easier and better and cleaner, this is just another solution. Let me just pass here uh, yourself, just to check that it actually works. It, it is. So we have now 27 and then we have this fixed. Let's see the next one. All right, guys, now we have the third solution and this is going to be uh, the structuring with model objects. Let's see how it goes. Let's say you have this myself. I'm going to comment this for one minute and I'm going to create. Oh, well, actually, I can use this one just as a model object. So here I'm going to give it a, a value of null. I'm going to rename it as model mm, person. Model person, that is a good name. And here we're going to merge both. Merge person. And then we get the first one model person, and then second one myself. And then we can pass this to you what I'm doing right here. This is gonna be person dot data dot own dot h. Such a good memory I have. Okay. All right. So let us check what we have. And we are getting. Null. But let us see what is actually happening. I'm going to print the whole version object and then we have right here data on h as null and the h as 27. Um, so this is not overriding anything in, in here because this is in another level which is not the same as here. Um, but it's actually fixing the problem. Our problem is actually fixed. So what will happen is in case we have uh, the right structure indicated like this, everything working perfectly and smooth. Now the problem with this is that what will happen if, let me just make it shorter, uh, just to uh, show what will happen in this case when the whole object is getting overridden. Uh, let's see that here I have a name. Uh, Jimmy! Why not Jimmy? Jimmy is such a good name. So we have model person name H. So let's see what happens here. Let me print person again. This whole object is being um, replaced. So we are losing this property name right here. So for this situation, what we would need to do is to like this. So now let me run it again. And there we have it. So, and there we have my name Jimmy printed in there. All right, my dear fellows. Now we have the fourth solution. And this is gonna be try catch statement. Now, what this is about is just to grab our uh, possible error statement right here, like... <laughs> we're gonna print 
print 30. There we have it. So guys, it's up to you. Actually, just check which one is better for you. If for any uh, any other reason it happens for you to to have uh, another type of error right here, let's say another assignation or another error, another thing right here, this will always be nulled. And let's see what is the final solution, the number five. And for that purpose, what I need to do is to jump in the time, to go and travel in the time several years from now. Let's see. Hello guys, what's up? This is Jimmy from the future and as Jimmy have noticed, Jimmy in the future is a beautiful, beautiful, sorry, it's a aggressive rock star and, or maybe a beautiful, beautiful blondie. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Actually, what it matters here is that in the future we may have uh, another way to solve this problem and this is gonna be... Optional chaining. Here we have it. So, do you guys know what this is? Well, this is actually a proposal. It's still in the stage number one. Uh, and what this is about is about a new operator right here. And uh, right there. So, what do you think, guys? Hmm, I honestly like it. I think it's way cleaner than the other uh, solutions. So, what it does is, uh, it's actually just uh, evaluating the first expression and if it is true, if we have a right value here, then the second one, the following one, will be evaluated and as it goes on and on and on. So, take a look into that, let me know your comments and I will enjoy my coffee because this coffee is not from the past, it's not from the previous uh, shot. This is a coffee from the future. See you guys around. All right guys, this is it for today. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can use this in your code. And if you find another method to do it, just let me know and any comment, any suggestion, please let me know. And see you in the next chapter, guys. Bye-bye. La 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 la